This dude is a fighter. Go Superman! And during Ninja, catch an exclusive sneak peek of Minions, The Rise of Gru. <laughs> the Ninja Warrior Minion event. <laughs> Next Monday on NBC. Later, Jimmy Fallon welcomes Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, NBC Tonight. I'll pick this one up. I earn 3% cash back on dining, including takeout with Chase Freedom Unlimited. So, it's not a problem at all. You guys aren't gonna give me the fake bill fight? Come on, Kev. You're earning 3% cash back. Humor me. Where is my wallet? Where is my wallet? Yeah. I gave it to you. Ooh. Where is the... Oh. Nope, that's not it either. No, I mean, no, stop. I insist. That was good, though. Earn big time with Chase Freedom Unlimited with no annual fee. How do you cash back? Chase, make more of what's yours. In the town of Basic, it's not a surprise to hear these type of noises. But with the advanced rear automatic braking of the Nissan Rogue, The unexpected can be music to your ears. Anything but basic. The 2022 Nissan Rogue. Get 1.9% financing for up to 72 months on 14 models, like Rogue with 37 miles per gallon highway. NBC4 News at 11 starts with breaking news. That breaking news is in the Hollywood Hills tonight where firefighters have been battling a brush fire. Let's get right to Eliana Moreno live overhead for us in News Chopper 4 Alpha. Eliana. Chuck and Carolyn, this fire was called the Coyote Fire. It broke out at about 9.40 tonight, but you can see that all things considered, everything is looking so much better now. The forward progress was just stopped, but we want to show you some aerial images that we shot when we first arrived over this fire shortly after it broke out, and there were heavy flames coming from the brush directly behind some apartments called the Ava Apartments. So at one point, those flames were burning very close to those structures, but fortunately, no structures were damaged and there are no injuries to report. We also want to show you some incredible ground footage of a lot of that active flame. This was really quite the firefight. Firefighters didn't want that fire to spread to these apartments and they also didn't want it to spread further into Mount Lee, which is actually the same mountain as the Hollywood sign. But again, they have just declared that the forward progress of this fire has been stopped and fire crews will remain on scene over the night while they continue their mop up operation here in the Hollywood. Hollywood Hills. That is the latest from News Chopper 4. Let's send it back down to you in the studio. Eliana, thank you. We want to bring in Hetty Chang now. She is live near where that fire was burning. Hetty. Yeah, Carolyn, when you take a look at those images from News Chopper 4, you could understand why residents, so many of them, were concerned, and even at this hour still are, because that was a pretty big fire that came pretty close to the backside of the apartment complex here. You can see uh, we are right in front of the Ava apartment complex on South Coyote Canyon and Barham Boulevard. Uh, if you're still in our live shot here, we want to show you that the fire response from L.A. County fire as well as L.A. City fire, oh, I'd say it stretches at least half a mile up and down Barham Boulevard here. But if we take a look at the images from News Chopper 4 overhead, showing when this fire first broke out uh, just before 940 tonight, uh, firefighters managed to keep this fire at less than one acre. But at the time, it was burning in some pretty medium to heavy brush, burning above the dog park near the Ava apartment complex where we are. Now, the good news from fire officials came around, I'd say, 10, 20 to Tonight or so, uh, fire officials had said that the fire was moving away from those residents toward Coyote Canyon. But of course, again, the people who live here still pretty concerned. We spoke with a woman who lives next to the Ava apartments in the Coyote Hills condo. Uh, take a listen to why she says she's still concerned. Neighbors are definitely on edge. You know, this is obviously a little too close for comfort. It's right in our backyard. It was a super hot day and dry out. So something like this right before we all go to bed is not anything to take lightly. So we're all just kind of waiting for things to slow down. And that is what fire officials and firefighters here on the ground are hoping this fire does, is just kind of settle down. We just spoke with the assistant chief here. He tells us they were managed to keep this fire at less than an acre. And right now, they're just keeping a close eye on the hillside here into the mop-up stage. That's the very latest here. I'm Hetty Chang. Chuck and Carolyn, back to you. Thank you very much.